Greetings, Nick Bocott with Sweetwater here, and today we're going to discuss this beauty here, the Keeley Filaments pedal. It's a high gain distortion pedal. Now we've got boosts, we've got overdrives, we've got distortions, we've got fuzzes. This is part of a new, relatively new category. I call them stacks in a box or amps in a box. This is really adding a high gain distortion channel to your favorite clean sounding amp. And that's exactly why Robert Keeley designed this. To this end, you've got all the controls you'd expect. Level or volume, gain. Then you've got four EQs, presence, bass, body, and treble. Then there are three switches. There's boost, which adds more fire to the flame, or more gas on the fire, if you will. There's a bright switch, which surprisingly makes it brighter. And then there's a crunch switch, which adds more string definition or string snap to the sound. So between all of those, you get a great sound. And how I'm de demonstrating this is I'm running it through a Rocker 32 from Orange, which is a 2 by 10 30 watt tube amp. It's got two channels. And I'm using the natural one, which is a clean one. And all you do is you plug in and you turn the volume up because it has no other controls. It really is a kiss amp. Keep it simple, stupid. Plug in, turn up the volume to where you want it, and then go. This is what it sounds like without the pedal. Now, although this pedal was designed with the modern metal player in mind, if you back the gain off and use the boost, you can get some really cool bluesy sort of hard rock, sort of soft rock, whatever you want to call it sounds too. So to demonstrate that, I've got no fewer than six guitars here. I've got an Epiphone tuned to E flat. I've got a Charvel tuned to D. I've got a Jackson tune all the way down to B. I've got active pickups. I've got passive pickups that are hot, passive pickups that are not so hot. So different tunings, different scale lengths, different guitars, same awful talent in all of them. But by using them all and changing this pedal around, you're gonna hear exactly what this can do. Finally, before I get to playing, on the intro and the outro, I've got reverb added. I'm playing along with the backing track so you can hear the Keeley playing along with bass and drums. But this is the reverb I'm adding. It's the Abbey Chamber Verb. It's really cool. It's based on the famous Abbey Road Reverb Chamber. Why am I using it? Four reasons. Number one, it's made by Keeley, so it's in the family. Number two, Abbey Road is not only legendary, it's British, and I'm not legendary, but I am British. Number three, Paul McCartney was a lefty. I'm also a lefty. He's also British. I'm also British. Trouble is, he's got more talent in his little finger than I've got in my entire body ever, but that notwithstanding, it's cool. Last but by no means least, this pedal sounds great. That's why I'm using it. Right, enough chat. Let's hear some sounds. <laughs> Incidentally, when you buy your Keeley filaments, you get a special bonus in the box. This added value, this wonderful plush black bag. Now, this is made from the incredibly rare fur from the Siberian black hamster, so it really is worth some money. I'm only kidding, it's regular cloth, but it's very cool, it's plush, and it will protect your pedal when you're on the road, which is a good thing, so get it. <laughs> Thank you. 
And there you have it. From those several sounds, hopefully you've got a good idea of just how versatile this filament's pedal really is. And we've only just scratched the surface, believe me. So you should check one out yourself. So for more information, go to sweetwater.com or better still, call your sales engineer and he or she will be only too glad to walk you through the many fine features of this wonderful filament pedal. Right, I'm a play out, so I'm going to go back to the Abbey verb and uh, hopefully it'll hide some of my flaws, my many flaws. See you!